Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick playthrough of a great flip and write um, or rail and write game from Game Right Games. This is Metro X. Okay, so when you open up the uh, box, you're going to get your instruction booklet. And then in here you're going to have uh, six of these great uh, whiteboards. And we're just going to do a solo playthrough on this. So we're going to take one of these boards. We're going to put this stuff off to the side here. We're going to take a uh, dry erase marker and then our package of cards here. Now on this board, there's actually two different sides. There's this one marked Metro City and this one marked Tube Town. Uh, Tube Town is much more difficult than Metro City. So... Uh, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to finish all of these subway lines to the end to score the points on them. All right. So you got just a small deck of cards here. So like I said, this is a flip and write, which means we're going to flip the cards and then we're going to do something on that. You've got these great uh, little player reference cards here. So we're going to put this out in front of us here. Um, this is the penalty table for how many blank um, stops that we have at the end of the game. So if you look at the cards, you have a skip two, a skip two, a five, a six with a reshuffle, a three, a three, a transfer, a skip three, another transfer, a free space, a four, which I skipped over there, a four, a five, a three, and a four card. So to start the game, what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle these all up. We get these all good shuffled. We're going to set them right down there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to move this over just a little bit right here. We're going to flip the first card and we have a five. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write that five in one of these boxes here and then we're going to mark X's along that line. Now these lines intersect a lot and that's going to be important later in the game. Um, I generally start up here at the top with the red line. So I'm going to put a five in that box and then I'm going to mark an X, five X's. Now as you see, while I've done that five X's, I've actually also started the orange line without ever having to write a number down. As soon as your car is full with numbers or X's, which we'll show, show you in a little while, you can no longer put anything along that line. So lines like the red line, it's not that long. It goes down here, but it also intersects a lot of other lines. So it intersects the yellow line, the orange line, all right here, the green line. So those will all get you to the end of that line. All right. So as soon as you're done with that, we're going to go to the other one. Now we're going to go to a free space. Free spaces early in the game aren't really the greatest, um, but you can basically put it anywhere. You do not have to put a number down in your car. And this is where this game's strategy comes from, is you have got to build these lines all the way to the end or you get don't get any points. If you get to the end in the solo game, you're going to circle that number right there, and that is your points. All right? These whiteboards are great, so for teaching purposes, if nothing else, um, really good component quality in this game. So i got to figure out where I'm going to go with this X, and I know, I think I'm going to go right here, and there's a reason for that. Um, from playing this game a lot, I know that that's a spot where things end up, I usually need a spot. A spot. So I'm going to go on to the next one. So now we got a four. So we can put it on, we can start on anything, but we have to go in line. So if I wanted to start the green line, I couldn't do it here. I'd have to go down here. Um, and they have to be continuous on this one. If you can't put four in, you have to write four down and then put three in. So if you had an X right here, I could still use the four, but I'd only get three of the X's out of it. So it's rationing your um, your numbers here. So I'm going to put it on the blue line here. I'm going to go four. One, two, three, four. Now this space in particular, it's got the orange line, the green line, the green line, the purple line, and the blue line all coming into it. So that's that's a very popular space. So we're going to go on to the next one. Three. Um, and again, I've 
filled in the red space here because that's where the red line ends. So, um, now if I did the orange line, I go start right here. One, two, three. I go down there and then I would need a one, two, three, four to finish the red line. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this three right there. One, two, three. So now I've got one and now I've got an X here. So I'm going to need either need a skip or a uh, free space. Now we haven't, the free space has already been taken. So one, two, three, four, five on that with a skip. So we're going to go on to the next one. Five. Now, if I didn't have that X there, I could finish that line, but I do. So I can't use that and I have to go in line. So I can't just put it there. I can't go to the end of this line and say one, two, three, four, and then put the four there. So now I could finish the red line, one, two, three, four, and get two points, but I'm gonna put it actually right here on the green line. One, two, three, four, five. Now this will complicate my red line because I'm gonna need a skip to finish that one, or a two and a free space, but the green line is worth more and I need to get that finished. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. Four. Hmm. I'm going to put that down here. Early on in the game, my strategy is usually just trying to get everything filled in as much as I can. So I got four there and I got one there. So I've only got two and four left on that one. So if I can get a two and a four, I can actually finish this green line for four points. Okay, so now we got a transfer card. Now, this is where you have the ability to pick a lot of points up in this game. A transfer means you have to go to the first space on any line that you want, and you see how many lines intersect there. So let's say we did this green line right here. So the first space is this one right here. There's two lines there. We're gonna multiply that number times two. If we wanna put it there, we will put a four in this space and then we will put an X in either that green or this green because it's a transfer. Um, and actually at this point, um, we got on the long green line, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I put it there, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it'd be seven there. I think we're gonna go ahead and put it here. We're gonna take our chances. So we're gonna put a four right there, and we're gonna put an X in that one. So that is your transfer. Okay, now we got a three and a skip. So what this allows us to do is we can put three along any line and we can skip spaces that are already used. So this is gonna actually allow me to finish the red line. So I'm gonna go one, two, I'm gonna skip and three. Now the red line is complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle this right here. I get those two points. Those are two victory points at the end. All right, so we're gonna pull another one, another three. Hmm. So I have the pink line here, it's got three, and then we have two along the pink line, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I use this three here, I still need to get nine, but we have the yellow line and that, and the gray, the blue line and the gray line, which if we complete those first will give us down to needing a six on two rolls. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna put the three there, we're gonna put an X in each one of those. All right, we're moving along good. Okay, now we have the six. What happens when the six comes out? Yes, you can use all six sections, but then you take and you reshuffle the whole deck again. Um, and sixes take so much of your lines out, take so many of your stations out that you really want to be able to use all six of them. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put them on this green line here, six. So I'm just double checking. I trace that line to make sure I'm not one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm filling up other lines by doing that. I'm filling up this yellow line, although it does break that yellow line. So I'm gonna need a skip to get those two filled in. But I've still got one space left and I only need one point to finish that green line for five points. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take all these cards, we're gonna give them a good shuffle again. And we will see what we can do here. I tend to shuffle them forever. All right, then we start again. And we start with a four. All right. So, starting at the beginning. So this is where you start running into, into issues. I can't put four down on anything, I don't think because the orange runs there, it's got one in the middle. The gray line only has three. The yellow line only has one. So we're gonna put a four in this gray line right here and we're only gonna use three X's because that's all we can put in. All right, and now we're gonna go to a transfer. Hmm. So this is where you have to make a sacrifice. So we could put the transfer right here and just get two points and put it on the yellow line. That yellow line's worth four points, which isn't bad, but um, the gray line would be right there. That would be six points, but I still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces, and I would only have one left with only the pink and the blue intersecting. And I don't, I don't know about that blue. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. Hmm. I'm gonna put it on the gray line right there. So that's the orange line, the gray line, and the yellow line times two which is gonna give me six points, and I'm gonna put an X right there. Three and a skip. Now this is interesting. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna put this on the orange line. So I'm gonna trace that orange line. One, two, three. If we get lucky and get a free space, we can finish the orange line. So I'm gonna put it one, two, three. Now, one thing to know in this game is do not expect to fill all the lines. It is difficult. You're not supposed to fill all the lines. You will get lucky once in a while and be able to do that. I have done that and it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling, but it is not easy. <laughs> all right, a three. Okay, so since we just did that orange line and we filled in that uh, X over here, we can actually finish this green line right here with this three. One, two, three. And we circle that and we get those four points. And on to the next one, five. Okay. Uh, where are we gonna go with this one? The yellow's broken. Can't do that one. The pink, one, two, three, four, five. I really think the pink is the best line for this. So that's five. So we're gonna trace that just to double check. Down, down to there. One, two, three, four, five. So we need a three to finish that line. And luckily enough, we just got a three. So we're gonna be able to finish the, the pink line. And the pink line is really the best line to finish. It's the highest points. It's seven points in the game. Um, so we got really lucky there. And the game ends as soon as all of these, all of your train car um, windows are full. So we got a two and a skip. And I'm, we're gonna go right to the yellow with that. We need to get those two. So. 
We got that one down two. Now we can start working on the yellow line. One, two, three, four, five. And we're done with the yellow line. Now we have that free space. And we were talking about that on the orange line. So we can take that orange line, but sometimes it's also good to look and see what else we have. So on the purple line, which we haven't even started yet, we have a one and then a four. Now the purple line is worth four points and the orange line is worth four points. But if we fill, if we get the purple line filled in, it's going to help us with the blue line, which we haven't finished. The orange line is not going to help us with anything. So I think at this point right here, I'm actually going to take that free point right here on the purple line. And now another transfer. So this is where transfers, when you get late in the game like this, this is where transfers can become an issue because they're filling up boxes on the cars um, without giving you any point. You're, you're going to get points for the transfer, but you're not going to get point for the car. Um, although I think I see what we're going to do right here. We're going to put this, we're going to actually put the transfer in the yellow um, the, or the green. I mean, the green comes down here, comes up here, and we only need one. And it's only going to give us two points to do the transfer, but it's going to finish the line and it's going to give us five points. So it's giving us a uh, seven. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and re. So that's it. That's the good and the bad of it. You really want ones that, you know, have give you six, eight, ten points. That's how you get a lot of points in this game. All right. So now we got a four. And we're getting lucky here because um, we can finish the yellow line at four points. We can finish the purple line at four points. Hmm. I really think the purple line we should finish because it's also going to help us get us get closer on the blue line. So we're going to put the four right here. One, two, three, four. We're going to circle that. Now, as long as we get some decent cards, um, we should be able to start finishing some of these. Oh, no, we're not going to be able to. Well, maybe. We're going to go ahead and use this three right here. Now, even though I finished it, if I get a card that I don't want to use, I can actually put it, write it in on the purple line. Um, a three is going to be okay because I've still got two slots on yellow. And my yellow line comes down here. And I got one, two, three, four, five. So if I use the three, I'm only going to need a two. It's the lowest card, so I know I'm going to get it, hopefully, unless I get a free space. So I'm going to go ahead and go one, two, three. I'd rather have a four to help me out with the gray. Um, at this point, I don't see us finishing the gray line, but we'll see. Now we're going to go to a four, which is going to allow us four points. We're going to put in that blue right there. Oh, no, we can't. See, because of that right there, four. So it's got a four. So do we sacrifice the gray line or do we just write the four in there and not do anything? Or do we finish the yellow line? I think we're going to go ahead and take the points. So we're going to do four. There's one and we're only going to use two. So that's the four. So now we're down to th basically three draws unless we get a uh, free space. Now we get the six in the reshuffle. And this is the worst possible place to get a six. Because the only three lines we have left, or the only two lines we have left, are the gray line, which is broken right now because you've got two and then you got one, two, three, four. And the blue line, which is one, one, two, three, four. One, and then one, two, three, four. So what we're going to do, even though it kind of pains me to do it, we're going to put the six in that purple spot where we didn't need it. What we really need is skip cards now. And that skip card was at the bottom of the deck. So we're going to go ahead and reshuffle. All right, 
Here we go. And a three. Hmm. Yep, that's not going to help us much. So, um, at this point, I guess we're going to put the three right there and put it on the gray line. Um, we're not going to finish the gray line unless we get a... And then we get a transfer. <laughs> now, the thing about this is, uh, the only place we can put it is right here for that one because we have to put the transfer down for two points. So that ends the game. All of our boxes are filled. We've filled as we've got as many lines as we can get. Now, the way scoring works in this game is actually pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to fill out our transfer. So we're going to get six points here. We're going to get four points here. That gives us 10 plus two here. That gives us 12 points for transfers. Completed, we have 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 5 is 14, uh, plus 4 is 19, uh, 23 with that 4, and 27. Now what we have to do is we have to count up how many spaces we didn't fill in. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Oh, so close. And then we go to this penalty. And it shows us that for seven empty stations, we get negative three points. So we put a seven here, negative three. This is 39 minus three gives us 36 total points. And that's how you score it. And then on the back of the solo variant, it will tell you uh, what, you're, what you, you're shooting for here. So for 36, it says you are at an advanced level. So we did well we did an advanced level and that guys is how you play metro x this game is really fun the one thing i love about this particular roll and write is the boards or the flip and write is the boards these whiteboards i can sit on the couch and watch football while i play this game which i love i, I watch a movie whatever i put these on the arm of the couch i flip them up it's just super simple. And then when you're done, you erase it. You don't have to find a pencil because these are in there. It is challenging. This game is really challenging to get as many of these stations done as you can. And if that's not challenging enough, you can go to the tube town side, side which is even more difficult. It's fun, but I also find myself when I have a really bad game, I'm not upset about it. Um, it's just one of those things that you're, you know, you shuffle the cards and um, it's just a great, this is such a great uh, flip and write. And it is one of our favorites now. Um, like I said, I can sit on the couch and play this, which is just phenomenal. So, and you know, we, we really enjoy this and you can... You know, you can play up to six people right out of the box, or you can take a uh, photocopy of these and copy them out. You could play 15, 20 people with pencils if you want. Um, I know on the box it says one to one to six, but it's it's like any other roll and write. You could do as many players as you want as long as everybody is doing the same side, using the same map. So really great roll and write or flip and write from uh, Game Right Games. So we hope you guys enjoy this playthrough. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell icon for notifications. Uh, leave a comment down below and tell us if you guys have uh, actually played this game. Um, and also if I made any rules errors because I am I am not perfect and I will make rules errors from, <laughs> from time to time. So, all right, guys. Thanks for coming in. We'll be back uh, soon with another review or uh, playthrough. Have a good day. Bye.